just for the record, came back to get the rest of my stuff. Because lockdown sort of eased up a bit, and everything is fucking gone. Everything. Um, the only thing that was here when I came in was the pit, the uh, TV. So that's gone. Um, I've taken on, I've taken my PS3, my PS4, my Xbox. So that was alright. I took all my books. I took, I think, all my knickknacks as well. Um, a lot of things that have been binned by the landlady. There was an inert 50 caliber around in there, and a couple of games. I took most of my games, there's still some in there. So they're gone. Tucked on these underwear, gone. Completely fucking gone. There was a couple of bags of clothes here, which to be fair, you know, I didn't really fit me anyway, so I can forgive. I can forgive that. But yeah, there's other things I can't quite remember. So I definitely lost a lot of games. Some socks and underwear. Right here. Up in here is where I had a box of comic books I've been collecting since I was like ten. So, so some quite old ones I bought, quite a lot of ones that you know I have memories of. Uh, I also have my box of my dad's stuff in here. Um, yeah, my dad died on three, you know, t shirts, shirts, pictures, letters, and stuff. She has that to the tip as well. Uh, um, so yeah, um, I did text her saying, Hey, there's a lockdown, I can't really, you know, come get my shit. And I've moved out, so it's been an awkward situation. She was fine, like, fine, yeah, I'm not gonna come out. She's like, I'm not gonna come out to lockdown lens anyway, that's fine. So I've come back, got my last shit, and apparently she has come since lockdown. During lockdown, I'm going to all my shit. Didn't even text me, didn't even phone me saying, Do you want to come get it? You know, because if, she, if she'd phone me, would text me, I would have said to her, Hey, listen, I'll come get my stuff now, and you know, fuck the lockdown. But I was a good boy, you know, fuck the lockdown rules, didn't really go out for unnecessary purposes. I figured because lockdown's ended a bit now, I'll go out, you know, get the uh, rest of my shit. There's some old shit there as well. Um, laptop, a couple of pictures. Um, the laptop was just didn't work anyway. The screen was damaged, so I was just completely fucking like it was a three, four year old hundred pound laptop. So I don't bother about that anyway. Um, yeah, literally fucking all gone. Um, the TV was there. I've got that downstairs now. Um, but apart from the TV, fucking absolutely nothing in here. Um, I'd hoovered up. I tidied up a fair bit. Oh, it was a mess in there. But it wasn't a mess. It was stuff that I was gonna take. You know with me. There's a box, a couple of boxes I had of general stuff. And yeah, um so I talked to Solicitor and a friend. And she actually hasn't given me like a four in, in my contract I get a 14 day sort of um warning period where she's gonna say this is where you in writing in writing of some form, so I text a phone call or anything. Um she didn't give me that, so Technically, what she's done is illegal, and with the coronavirus crosses around, you think she'd have a bit of a brain to go, hmm, you know, coronavirus, people are working, it's hard to get to places, you know. And even if not, she was, you know, going to demand I get out and get my stuff, she could have at least fucking messaged or phoned. And look at that. There's some like McDonald's Monopoly things here I've had for a while. But I think, yeah, everything's nothing really here, actually, do know. Um, she's she's probably searched and scrimped and got rid of everything. Like I said, hoovered up already. I'm tired of a fair bit. Like I said, my Xbox was there, PS4 was there. I took them with me. PS3 was in there. I took that with me. My tank was in there. I took them with me. All my books were there. I took them with me. All printed all my knickknacks. My folder for important shit. My passport. Thank God I didn't leave that because that would have been gone. I took that with me. So thankfully, I took all that with me. But um, yeah. I'm still going to do now about like solicitors and that, and you know, getting some of it back. I didn't pay, I didn't pay rent for that two months, for the two months I wasn't here, but that's the thing as well. I paid the rent initially for like, I think it was February, like January, it was. But then she didn't ask, yeah, you know, I said to her, like, listen, lockdown on that. I'll come get it. Well, not was her, she was like, fine. She didn't say anything about, oh, you gotta pay me and anything like that. Like, between then and now, she's not said anything about. You know, I need rent, I need money, I need something, which I know it's bad, but like, I literally wouldn't be able to pay the rent anyway on this place where my stuff is. 3 a month there, plus, you know, trying to live generally. It's not fucking muscle. You know, the actual decency to go, well, yeah, there's a lockdown, you know, give him a few days warning, say, hey, can we get your stuff, or, you know, something. She's just gonna take it all. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's it's more of the sentimental stuff that I miss because now it's like, well, where the fuck's my dad? I can't get my dad shit back. I don't know. Those comic books are gone, you know. Some of them, I know what they were, the Arkham City ones, there's a couple of them. But by and large, you know, I've been getting them for years. Like someone, the, the, the oldest modern ones I got were from 2010, you know. And I had some from the 70s and that. Some some of these were quite fucking old. And so like she's coming here. She left the TV saying, oh, oh it seems too valuable to get rid of. But then she's, you know, like a dozen or so games gone. Into a heavy box up there gone. She didn't even wonder what was in that. Fucking anything and everything's left gone, you know. So I'm gonna say something about Solicitor or something. But hey, this is this is the the attic room I lived in for a year. Some videos were done in there, and yeah, the heating's on. It's fucking roasting him like a fucker. But yeah, literally, come in tidied and just everything is fucking gone. I'm a bit pissed off with her. You know, she didn't give me, like I said, if she gave me some warnings, hey, in a week I'm coming to, you know, sort the room out, please have everything gone. I would have come down here the next day and got everything. But I got, like, a good, like, majority of my stuff out. And then I was like, okay, right, it's all I can take for now. But I'll come back tomorrow and then, you know, a couple of days and get the rest and that'd be that. Lockdown happened, so I couldn't do that. So, yeah. So with the games, it's not too bad, because all I have to do is look at my PSN trophy list, you know. And if I've got trophies for a game, and I've not got the game where I'm at now, obviously it's one mint. I know, I know like nine or something, like six, seven that are just gone completely. You know, Spider Man, God of War, I bought them brand new, which kind of annoys me. You know, they were my copies, and now they're just all right, gone. The Witcher 3, got my copy, that's gone. You know, it's like that's monetary value and sentimental value because, like, the money that I spent on those games, you know, granted it was one year ago, two years ago, granted not, I've not played them for a while. But they were like brand new and stuff and the case is all nice and you know i got them at a completely different time of life and now they're completely gone so what do i do do i, do I spend 60 quid to get the game brand new again or whatever it is 20 quid to bring the game brand new to have it have it as it was you know ironically in there was my second copy for Ad zero dawn because the first one went missing in bagel so i bought another copy and it was in there and i thought i'll leave it in there i'll pick it up next time that's gone, so I'm going to buy a third copy of Ranzo Dawn. Granted, it was second hand, I think both times anyway, but still. Days gone, didn't even start playing that, that was in there. Fucking God of War, Spider Man, Battlefield 1, fucking Battlefront 1. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Fucking Uncharted 4 was in there. Fuck's sake, man. So, if anyone has any advice or anything like this, Please give me some advice. Um, I have to start on just listening to see what I can do and sort this out. Because I didn't get like a 14 day notice. She didn't say anything. Literally, the first I heard about my stuff being thrown out, my my pre warning, there was no pre warning. It was me opening the store and going, look, everything's gone. So, bear note that I didn't get literally anything asked, told me, asked me anything. So, yeah, I'll see what I can do. You know, sentimental stuff is a pain, it's gone. But it had no, it was, you know, it wasn't really worth much. And, you know, it's gone, what can I do? And the monetary value stuff, it's like, it's a pain in the ass. You know, I'd rather not sp have to spend, you know, 150 quid over the next two, three years getting my games back and stuff. And getting uh, There's a massive ass box of DVDs and that. They're gone from Bagel. Just, just gone. You know, it's like, it, it defies all logic. Like, you, you see them and think, hmm, you know, you see the DVDs, the games, the fucking comic books, the bags of clothes, the whatever else I had in here, and instead of thinking, hmm, you know, maybe I'll text him, see if he's going to get all this shit, just assume that he's not going to get it all, and throw it all away, even there's a lockdown in place, where you can't just go and do shit, unless of course it's, it's like, you know, you need to go to the shop, or go to work, you know, that's how it was like for the past couple months, to go to shop or go to work, you know, so me travelling all the way down here to get some shit, and then travel all the way up, it just, it wasn't on the cards, you know, until like, a couple like a week ago where it was like you can sort of do more stuff like this now so i come to do more stuff like this and lo and behold everything's gone no prior warning no no comment of you know if you want me to keep the rest of the stuff you have to pay me some money if you want you know if you want anything blah, blah, or i'm gonna get rid of it just absolutely no warning no text no phone call and she's like oh I, I, actual surprise like, oh i got rid of it all i got rid of it all you know it's in the tip now it's like 
Well, you could have given me a fucking, like, you know, even if it was a 24 hour warning, you know, I would have fucking called and sick to work for the next day if I had to. Just said, all they said, listen, I need to go get my shit, you know, and just come down the fucking next morning, first thing, and grabbed it all, you know, fought the lockdown. But, you know, I was a good boy, fought the lockdown rules, and this is what I get. Yeah. And then, if you say, like, oh, you should have paid the rent, even though I wasn't living here, I should have done, yeah, but I physically can't, you know. I don't have the money to be paying three ninety a month on this place, as well as trying to live where I'm living now, you know. So I had a choice either pay three ninety a month for this place and have all my shit, or you know don't do that but be able to actually eat food and live and go to work and shit like that, you know. But not sure really either. Thought it's just maybe you know compensation sewer or something for however much I can. I love the sentimental stuff, can't get back. But at the very least, like, you know, the games, at least, I can easily, like, figure out which ones are gone and get them again. They won't, that won't be too bad. Um, the DVDs weren't worth much anyway. Most of them white shit, yeah. They weren't even mine. I was sort of giving them because, like, no one wanted them. Most of them were shit. I had, like, um, I had a few knickknacks, though. Oh, I think. Did she take my giant sword and helmet? Oh, fuck. I, think. I had a big-ass sword and helmet. I bought for fucking 30-odd, 40 quid. That's, I think that's gone as well. It's me. She, like, fucking sees all the shit and just thinks, oh, yeah, it definitely needs to be thrown away. He doesn't... And then she said, oh, I was thinking about giving the TV to the cleaners. Like, yeah, you were thinking about giving the TV. You weren't thinking about, you know, just give me a quick text saying, hey, Luke, um, are you going to get this stuff? At which one I said, yes, if you want to get it right now, I can come right now. But, of course, I had no forewarning. I had no idea she wanted me to get it all gone. She wanted, you know, she was going to do... I had no idea she was going to do this. I thought, right, I'll wait till now, like I did. You know, lockdown's a bit eased up. You know, it's safer. It's more legal and stuff. Be fine. But no, because a week ago, she got rid of it all. Did I get a text, a phone call a week ago saying, I'm going to get rid of it, come get it. Or something or anything now. You know, did she look at some of the valuable stuff and think maybe I should keep that for him? You know, just in case. No. Did she see any, like, Boxes of sent potentially sentimental stuff and think maybe he'll like that. No, just got rid of everything, absolutely fucking everything during the lockdown crisis where you know you can't travel between places unless, of course, it's essential. Where you know money's tight, money's difficult. So, yeah, brilliant. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I could have quite easily lost it on fire. Some people have lost their entire homes, everything in a fire, you know. So, I've gone, you know. In the grand scheme of things, this isn't too bad, but still, though, it's a bit of a, like, you know, for fuck's sake, because, you know, I figure out what games I'm missing, get them again, that's a pain in the ass, monetary value and stuff like that. Um, my comic books, it's a mix where it's like, there's sentimental value to it, because I've been getting them for years and that, but there's also the sort of monetary value of, like, you know, each one costs a couple of quid, and when you have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, you know, you know, two, three, four dozen. You, you can't just, you know, afford to get replace them. And besides, well, like I say, I know some of them, but a lot of them, I probably don't fucking know, the, you know, what issue they were or what exact ones there was. No fucking point, is it? <sighs> but, you know, at the very least, my clothes, I need to get new clothes, I know, because the ones in the bags never really fit me anyway. You know, there's two things I'm sort of annoyed are gone. My games and my dad's stuff, you know, for monetary value, sentimental value, it's like the hard to replace and difficult to replace. Other than that, it's like, you know, if I, if I had come and the only thing there was three bags of clothes and shit, oh, they were rubbish, I would just say fair enough, because they were in black bin bags and they didn't fit, really fit me anyway properly, so I wouldn't really care for that. But the fact that literally all my comic books are gone, my dad's stuff is gone, which is irreplaceable, uh, all the other, most of my uh, not most I, I got most of the games oh Ellie Noir as well that's gone so a good you know amount of my games are gone socks on the pants but it's like thank god I got my Xbox my PS4 my PS3 my TV my important folder where my passport is thank god all my books thank god I got like all my knickknacks um oh fuck my fucking blankets which like they were nice but they had like one blue tiger one Quite sentimental. I had it as I was a kid. I think that's fucking gone now. So thanks.
thanks thanks to my landlord i lost quite a few sentimental things quite a few expensive things did she give me a forewarning did she say you know as long as she said oh yeah you got two days and then i said no nah, fuck off i can't be asked it was like there was nothing absolutely fucking nothing for what was it april january april may, april may june so yeah basically two three two and a half three months she didn't text me anything, asking for money, asking for rent, asking where I was, asking what I was doing, asking for help, asking for advice, anything. You know, she didn't do anything. Absolutely silent. Gets rid of all my shit, doesn't say anything. And then I turn up trying to get my shit, and my shit's not here. And it's like, I thought you weren't coming to get it. It's like, well, if you didn't think I was going to come get it, why not ask me if I'm going to come get it? You have my number. Text me, phone me. Fucking, it's not that fucking hard. But here we are now, so anyway, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go now and uh, just go. Fucking, fucking class.